I'm with the Chief Minister on Friday morning and uh, it's Brexit again. OK, we've got this huge document. It's uh, the latest uh, report, the fourth interim yep. report. Mm -hmm. um, just yeah, page by page. Um, besides your introduction, it doesn't even mention the UK is having a general election. So this is dated in its, in its sense already. Well, no, the, the, the UK's general election isn't, isn't going to impact in any way, shape or form on the um, process of Brexit, Paul, the, the way Theresa May has planned it, and you have to say 10 out of 10 for on, on, on that part, is that at this moment in time, the, the programme for the Brexit discussions, it's, it's all in the hands of the European Union. So the European Union's senior officers and the political teams are working together to come up with their strategy on Brexit and how they see it, it going forward and, and, the, and, the, and their time frame, etc. So, Whilst that's going on, the UK are having their general election. So when the UK general election is over, that's when the EU will be ready to begin negotiations. So, so really, unless you've got a change of government, you're not going to have any delay. Yeah, I know, but you were on the radio saying everything's fine. I'm thinking to myself, well, actually, it's, you, you can't be dealing with MPs much more because no one knows who's going to do, be doing what after the general election. And I mean, Jersey and Guernsey basically said we're now dealing with, with the uh, civil servants. I mean, that, is that roughly what is happening here? Because it must be the same thing, isn't it? Well, I was in Westminster on Monday when I had a meeting with Robin Walker, who's the Under Secretary of State for the Department for Exiting. For another week. For another week, yeah, <laughs> but but I, you know, Robin is the sort of guy. He, he's pretty sharp. If if Theresa May gets back in, he'll either be still in that job or promoted. So he he will be a good contact for the Isle of Man, no matter what. I'm I'm, I'm sure of that one. And it's that that's my job. I, I've got to work with whoever is in the, the the key roles. We've we've got to get over there, put the Isle of Man's message. And if worst case scenario, somebody new is put in that job, then I'm I'm sure. It, we, we've just got to get on with it and, and deal with the situation. So, okay. you know, when I go away to Westminster, I, I don't just meet the Conservative Party, party members. I, I meet with the other party representatives too, so that we're, and the House of Lords as well to get the message of the Isle of Man over. Are you relaxed then that things are just going ahead? You know, but, I mean, there was a countdown, and you got, you've got to, what repeal seventy-eight acts here. I think you mentioned that thing just in the great Manx repeal bill or something. Yeah, there, there, well, and there's thousands of instruments that we're going to have to move to. Well, well, this is a massive, you know, I've been telling everyone from day one that Brexit is the biggest thing to be happening to this not, administration. Not according to Chris Robbins, sure, though. Well, I, I think... I mean, you make a bit of a point to that in your introduction, do, don't I, you? You, you? You do have a little dig. Yeah, well, I mean, there, there are many things where, you know, Chris and myself can maybe <laughs> beg to differ on, and I might think, oh, well, maybe he's got a point there, and maybe I haven't got quite it wrong, but I'm afraid on that point, Chris is so far off the mark, it's unbelievable. But Ooh. that's that's his view, and I, I'll respect his view. I mean, I don't want to downplay the importance, I hasten to add, sure. Paul, of dealing with public sector pensions, of dealing with an ageing population and dealing with um, balancing the economy. Those are key issues. But you know, we will, this government will be judged for generations on how it handles Brexit. Well, things like the VAT, and I'm, I said I've only had like five minutes to go through this, so excuse me if I'm not getting it all exactly right, but yeah. the implications are huge, aren't they? Because, I mean, we've, we've been able to tinkle with the VAT mm -hmm. and still have the access to Europe and all that. Well, that means when well, that's gone. Well, we have to do exactly what the UK does with the VAT, so you won't have the film industry perks or whatever that we were having. You know, things, those well, well, that, things that, that, that all stopped in 08, didn't it? Yeah, but I'm just thinking, but, you know, there, yeah, are, there, are, there, are, there are, even today, there are still Yeah, the, the, custo the customs there. agreement with the European Union, which the UK has, that will stop. Yeah. So we, we'll have to, you know, our key element is to ensure that our VAT agreement with the UK continues going forward, because obviously 80% of everything we do is with the UK. Yeah. And then we'll have to, to look for those opportunities. But an awful lot of our business is global, Paul. You know, whilst we have a big manufacturing side on the Isle of Man, it all goes into the UK as component parts. It may then reappear on the fuselage being made in Germany, and, and that's where we have to be careful. But it's the, the where we have concerns, I think, is the freedom of movement of goods, so the manufacturing side, the agriculture, the fisheries side, and freedom of movement of people. And in the World Trade Organization, we only came like a bolted on some years ago well, well, in the well, 90s, was it? I mean, it was well, well that, that's a massive asset to us, Paul. You know, yeah. when, when I'm away in Westminster sitting with my colleagues from Jersey and Guernsey, you know, we have various areas on the agenda that we want to discuss, items on the agenda, and most of our stuff we've got in common. But there's one area, WTO, where I, I can sit back and I'll not be smug, but the Isle of Man has been an associate member of the WTO since March 1997. And if there isn't a free trade agreement with the European Union, then it will fall 
to WTO rules and we are an associate member through the UK's membership. Right. Our, our colleagues in Jersey and Guernsey are not members, associate members. They'll get we bolted are. on, don't you worry, I'm sure well, they'll be... They are, they are working hard yeah. to get it, but the Isle of Man is, is, already, there. is already there. So that, that's one key plus for us. I, sp I suppose my, I'm trying to the point is that we've made you know, the financial sector, whatever, anything here has always been the, the crumbs off the UK table. You know, if that's gone and we're just dealing with the UK and everything is on the same level, where, where's our benefits? Where do people come to the Isle of Man to do their business rather than just do it in the UK? Well, we, we, we still have no capital gains tax, no inheritance tax, low taxation policies okay. on the Isle of Man, a responsive government, the lowest crime rate in Europe. You know, the, the list goes on. And sometimes, yes, we do pick up the crumbs, but also we're, we're world leaders in e-business, yeah. you know, with the e-gaming sector as an example. But, well, uh, well, listen, push on the depopulation thing that people will think, again, why are we here and I must just work in Birmingham or well, well, there, I well no there are opportunities and you know, we, we've seen an increase in the working population on the Isle of Man in the last 12 months and we need to help that grow that's one of the reasons why we've been looking at restructuring some of our work permit legislation because we've got if you look at the graphs you, you've got the number of jobs available going like that and the number of people unemployed looking for jobs going down so we've got yeah. to attract more people to the Isle of Man the skilled workforce because if we don't companies won't want to relocate here if they can't get the staff I, I mean at the end of the day I'm, we're going slightly off topic but yeah. you know house prices was a thing that gives you the, the sort of pulse of, of an economy doesn't it and, and we have been sliding I, you might say we were over over yeah. heated at one stage but Compared with the UK, it seems still. I, I, I had one of, our, one of our bigger estate agents in about a month ago, and they said the sales in the up to three hundred thousand pound, you know, price per property yeah. um, is the best since '08. But flat prices, the price of flats. Yeah, well, well yeah, f flat hit. prices. I mean, back in my days when I worked in the treasury, the, the advice was if you could stretch yourself, try and get a house, not yeah. not a flat. Flats are always when you've got problems; they're always the hardest. Um, mm item to, to sell you know, com compared with a house. But I, I, I had a meeting with some of the um, building industry. I was at the Vagabonds rugby match and, and the, uh, quite a few of them happened to be there. And th they, they're selling more, ag more aggregates. So more concrete is being sold on the Isle of Man. Oh, that's interesting. So that's, uh, that, that gives you sort of a Well, it, a it gives measure. you an indicator okay. that, that there's more building work going on. So really, just to finish with this, I mean, and there's so much sort of, I could be, be here for days just going through it. Yeah, well, well it, it is a, it's a highly complex document, but we, yeah. we are sharing it with, with the people of the Isle of Man. And you're asking Tim Wall to have a chat about this in May, aren't you? You're gonna yeah, we're going we're to have a debate, but I've already, you know, the, this fourth report, I've already given a presentation to Tim Wall members in the Brule Suite, and then we're going to have a debate on it in in, in Timwell next month. And just going back to the UK election, are you, will you be up all night watching that with bated breath or do you think it is so like steady she goes, that we're carrying on as before, nothing to worry about? I suppose I'm one of those saddos that will be watching it no matter what the outcome. Sure, but but, um, I mean it seems like it's all a done deal but I mean there's nothing, nothing no spanners that you can see that could upset well, you, you our you never know what's around the corner. You know, Mr. Mr. Trump got elected. People weren't expecting you that. You got elected. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, like, Thank you, Paul. No, but you know, like, no, but seriously, I mean, you never know, do you? But you the never, polls you, you, are, yeah. don't mean anything, and that's true, yeah, though, is Well, I, I think there's, there's a massive gap of about 20 points, isn't there? So yeah. I'd be surprised if that's overturned. But, you know, on the Isle of Man, we, we will remain neutral, and we work with whoever's in power. And the day after, whatever it is, you then have to pick up the phone and find out who's got what positions, who now picks up the, the, the mantle to carry the Isle of Man's case and the Channel Islands forward. Is that yeah. right? Well, uh, we, we, we'll obviously be doing that, Paul. However, don't, don't think that the work just stops whilst there's a general election. The officers are beavering away. On, on this all the time, and I'm, I'm having. How many people employed on this? I mean, you got this million pound pot. Do you have a, a whole section here now just making these reports? So I, I, I wish. No, it's the same team. Right. You know, we are really stretched at the moment. I mean, we, we've got this extra million pounds uh, as as a fund, on, and once the mist starts to clear, and we know on the, on the trade deals how it's going to be going, that's when we'll have to bring in extra people to to help us and, and advise us on that. But. You know, Jersey, I think they've got a four million pound pot. Yeah, they've it's got two, enough, three yeah. times the number of officers working is, on this than uh, we have. Do they see something that you missed then? I mean, do you, do no, I, I just think we, we, you know, 
Our civil service get knocked an awful lot and bashed, but we have an exceptionally good team in external relations that our competitors would give their eye teeth to, ha to have that level of competency. So we are pushing, punching well above our weight, Paul, on that one. Just remember that when they come for the next pay rise. Yeah. yeah but oh, no, they won't be getting any more. <laughs> See, now, now you've spoiled it for yeah. them. You've said how well they are, now you've taken it away. But anyway, nice to talk to you today on this one. So um, this is just one of... How many more of these? Is it every quarter, by the way? No, it's or just, just as and when. When, when we think there's something relevant. <laughs> so following the general election, you'll have to have, have an update then? We'll, we'll, we'll be doing an update when we think there's something key to say. And if people want to see this, it's available online? It's, it's available online. It's there for the public to see. It's Obviously, we'll be debating in Tim Wilden May if people want to listen to your excellent oh, coverage. We're having compliments here. That's good. Yes. No, like it. oh, it, it was good. We had like 300 people watch, dip into that live stream. Just yeah, you know, but I think it's just the fact that we're doing it. I'm not saying it's going to be the, well, I, I, the I hope, most I, I enjoyable just, thing to I, watch. I genuinely hope more people will because when you um, see it for yourself, instead of just listening to, to snippets, you know, no offence against the press, but if, if the press aren't switched on to the full yeah. intricacies of, of Brexit, they may edit something I've said which is totally irrelevant to the general thrust of the argument that I'm trying to get over. As, so, as with this, we never edit, of course. Yeah. But we, we're working the sound. If we can get the sound sorted out, because everyone says they're, they're doing that, if we can get a good sound system, we'll be very happy and we'll continue doing it. Yeah, and, but uh, as I say... Open I, government, eh? I, I, I hope more people do mm -hmm. uh, watch what's said in Timwell so that they can get the full picture, as, as I say. Mm -hmm. it's there, and then they can make a balanced decision based on hearing everything rather than snippets.